Assalamualaikum guys, welcome to Cyclist Progress Channel. If you want to ride your bike, don't forget these three components: brake, front light, and bell. It is enforced nowadays, and you may be fined up to two thousand ringgit if you don't have them. So today, I want to review one of my favorite perfume, Aqua di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. This perfume smells fresh and sweet. The sweetness of this perfume is very strong until it can cover your body smell when you are sweating. The projection of this perfume is very loud. Even up till one hour, the projection is still strong. You don't need to have five sprays. You just need two sprays for your day. The best part of this perfume is the performance. It is very long lasting. It can last up until eight hours with the smell still on your body. The design of the bottle is very simple. It has magnetic cap and the cap feels heavy. It makes the perfume looks luxurious. The perfume comes in 75 ml and 125 ml. It's a bit pricey, but go for one to five ml. It's around five hundred ringgit, but I got it for three nine five ringgit at Fikira Shopee. It's the cheapest so far. The alternatives for these perfumes, I would say, Paco Rabanne Invictus and Versace Eros. Both of these perfumes have sweet smells. If you don't like Aqua di Gio Profumo, it means that you don't like sweet perfumes. You can go for Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Hugo for Men, or Creed Aventus. These perfumes have different DNA from Aqua di Gio. Should I recommend this perfume to cyclists? The answer is yes. In fact, this perfume is very versatile. You can wear it at any time you want to cycle, and you can lepa at any restaurant you want. So, guys, this perfume is very recommended. Give it a try. That's all for today. See you on the next review. Do subscribe to my channel, Cyclist Fragrance. Bye.